Hello guys, welcome to part 5, and you will see who's behind the door number 1. Are you? Are you expecting anyone? Well, he's dead, so... Well, he will see who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. I don't think he's gonna leave. Think about this. your wife. Give me back the gun. Just in case. No. I don't think I should. Those are fresh tears on them too. That would be really suspicious. Who the hell is he? He looks pretty ugly. Probably gonna walk toward me. Ninety percent sure. Hey, <gasps> might as well jump. Stay here. Me. No. Stop! <laughs> Leave me alone! Who the hell is Lizzy? He is. Probably in the other room. <laughs> oh, damn. Lego can survive these drops. Hey! Ease up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? What? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? I went to the apartment, that's for sure. You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who are you exactly? I'm D, and I'm a private investigator. There's a business card in my shirt pocket. You can oh, see for no. yourself. Well, I guess so. This is for a sandwich shop. Really? Huh. Must have run out. That's Who hired you? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. No, I don't. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. No, oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Oh, God, no. It be much dumb. easier for you no. to... I'm D. He's dumb. Oh shit. Ooh. Ooh. You almost looked peaceful. Sucker punch. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yeah. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yeah. Where'd they go? 
Well, after the one guy hit you and the other one finished kicking you. That explains the ribs. Huh. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. I think it was a better decision. Probably Dumbo's back at the other place. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. I don't think anybody's here. Except for Toad. He's gonna be came all this way for nothing. All right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. What happened? Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice on there, okay? Of course I'll be nice. He hasn't been that much of a dick, I think. Well, then I should have known. Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. We heard someone crying. That's a little crap. Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame. That is a load it stinks, of crap. you know, but it's nothing to kick up a fuss about. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. Nope. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... Fine, relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Some uh, have a seat. Up. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ, are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. <laughs> cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? This is fishy. Your lock's busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Now for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Yeah, he does not look innocent. <laughs> That's recent. Well, it's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. Bleeding. Why is that? It's blood. Still fresh. 
Oh, well, I'll cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother-ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Hooks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Oh, this is smells of crap right now. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. No, I... there's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. Yeah. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. You don't have to. Really? Course. Scared Junior off to death. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? <laughs> Changing the subject. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Thought you wouldn't need keys since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. No. I'm gonna question you. Oh. Wow. And what happened here? The poker? What of it? There's more blood on the tip. This happened before or after you came in the window. After, after. Oh, I was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. But like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff, now what? Oh, for, it's a fire eye in this all, you ponderous wanker. We're not playing ten little Indians here. It's a simple accident. <laughs> oh, my God, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. You are. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting yes, you. Yes, you are. Honest. We'll see. Oh, wait, there is something in this- Something else over here. There. Putting the clues together. Like more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? <laughs> uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Oh, the lamp. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! Lies and why did the lies. lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. 
just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, you say, to my face. Hey, you think I'm hiding something from yes. you? Yes. Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So yeah, when? Is. When are you going to leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, no, mate. No, you haven't. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Oh, what Mr. The Toad, heck? you're bleeding. Take off the hat. What the? <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, thumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take the live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. You're not a trivial, lot of us man. are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. What did you tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give a bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. What the heck? This probably gonna be a crap. Whoa. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. <laughs> Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. I wouldn't be such a dick about it. I'm just trying to help you and them out. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. Hope nothing happened to TJ. I don't mind about Toad as much, but you know, kid hasn't been a dick. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully, the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know. Someone who will know where to find him. It. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I 
and thank you for watching guys um stay tuned for the next episode remember these are going to be coming out every other day or every other other day because i'm trying to work on some other videos right now other games and such so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye